Yes. You don't have pants on. <laughs> Wait till you hear my next question. Were you the last one to use the toilet paper in my bathroom? I don't think so. And leave the roll empty? I don't think so. I will kill you. <laughs> I don't think I was. I haven't been in your bathroom since this morning. <laughs> Why are you pointing at me? Do you want me to say yes so that you'll leave? Yes, it was me. Well, don't do it again! Okay. Goodbye. <laughs>your girl Jay and today I am here with another book emoji challenge. This was originally created I believe by Haley in Bookland. I know that Jesse the Reader has also done it but I honestly have no idea which one of the two created it. I want to say Haley, but I could be wrong so I'm so sorry if I am but this is like round five on my channel. I just love this challenge so much. Basically I go to Twitter, I tweet out hey send me some emojis for a video and then you guys send me emojis and I have to pair them with a book. So I chose five out of the multiple you guys sent me, so thank you so much for participating. But I chose five to match with my book, so without further ado, let us get started. So the first emoji that I chose is one that I use way too much, so I just felt like it needed to be included in the video. It's like the little face where he has like air coming out of his nose, like like he's frustrated, you know? I use that like all the time every day with my boyfriend, so I just felt like it was a good one to include. So I chose The Hating Game by Sally Thorne to match with this emoji because both of the main characters in this book are constantly like making that face to each other. Like they are just pissing each other off in like the best possible way in my opinion. I love this book. I think it's so much fun. It's an enemies to lovers office romance and I'm pretty sure like everybody on booktube has read it. I recently read it and I absolutely fell in love with it. But I think that that emoji is like so appropriate for this book. So the next emoji I chose was like the tulip emoji and I chose to pair it with The Bells by Danielle Clayton solely because there's flowers in her hair and flowers on the stem of- it's not called a stem. What is this called? What is- it's not a book stem. What is this called? I literally cannot remember. What? Spine. It's not a stem, it's a spine. There's flowers on the spine of the book. So like as soon as I saw the emoji, I was like the bells. That was the first thing that I thought of. So that was why we chose this one. But I actually like this book so much more than I originally thought I was going to. I honestly thought that it was going to be a three star read for me, but I ended up giving it a 4.5 out of five stars. Like I really liked it. It follows a girl named Camellia who is a belle who has the ability to control beauty, which is one of the most sought after skill in Orleans and she gets recruited by the queen to help save the princess who is ill from a sleeping sickness and it's like the story of her having to decide whether or not to help the queen or not. But like I said, I literally saw the flower emoji and immediately thought of the bells so it had to be included. The next emoji I got sent was the little like admit one ticket. So I had a couple of books that I thought would work with this emoji, but the one that I ended up going with was Caravel by Stephanie Garber. And now that I'm looking at the book, it actually has like an admit one on the back that I didn't even know was there, but it basically is like a once a year performance that you have to be invited to. So hence the admit one ticket. When I read this I didn't have like the highest expectations because I saw so many mixed reviews for this book and the series in general, but I ended up loving it so much. I give it a 5 out of 5 stars. It was just so like fantastical. It had me like hooked right from the very first chapter and then I binge read the entire series and just fell in love with it. I think that it's really good and I know that a lot of people aren't on the same page as me, but I had a lot of fun reading it. Well, I did. So. The next emoji I got sent was the fire emoji and I may be stretching this a little bit but I think that this book goes with the fire emoji really well. I chose Crown of Feathers by Nikki Palpedro. Hear me out, phoenixes are a big part of this book, right? Phoenixes come from fire, you know, the ashes of the fire. So 
fire phoenix bird fire bird okay do you see where i am going here also i just really love this book and i wanted to include it in a video the book follows veronica and val two sisters who have always relied on each other veronica has wanted nothing more since she was very young to be part of the phoenix riders but val just thinks that they need to stick together no matter what but then val ends up betraying veronica in a huge way and veronica sets off on her own to find the riders and it's like the story of that but it's really good. This was one of my favorite books of the year when I read it. I just think that it is so much fun and I actually have the second book literally sitting right here because I've been meaning to read it forever and I still haven't done it just because it's so big and it intimidates me but we're gonna get it done this year. That's the goal. Read more intimidating books. It was on my reading goals for the year so it has to be done. So it's still sitting there. Has not been done three months in four months in. It's April now, but eventually it will. And then the final emoji that I got sent was a little like egg timer thing. I chose to pair that with a book that they're kind of like racing against the clock and I chose These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. It is a Romeo and Juliet retelling set in the 1960s Shanghai, but they're like racing against the clock because they're trying to find the cure for this disease virus thing going around. So they need to like save their whole city and work together, that kind of situation. But this is another one that I freaking loved so much. Basically all the books that I chose, I rated really highly, like four out of the five were five out of five stars and then the bells was 4.5 out of five stars so basically this video is just like my way of getting to talk about books that i really like apparently and recommend that you guys read them so i just think that you guys should all read these books because i really like them and hopefully you will too and then we can talk about them they are all pretty hyped books so i feel like everybody has read them at this point but if you have not this is your sign to read them thank you Alright everybody, so that was my book emoji challenge round 5, I believe, on this channel. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!